Well guys, welcome back to the nest. I hope you're all keeping well. Yes, it's a new hat. My phone's on a tripod. And tonight, it is time for another movie reaction after so long. Like, how long has it been? Four weeks? I don't know. Tonight, we are actually doing a fun movie that everyone can enjoy, full of romance. We are doing... Saturday Night Fever. Yes, that's correct. I dance, but you're not my type. On the same night, he actually does manage to meet his dream girl. Uh, I have to say, she did look a lot older than him. You know, he he's 19, she looks like she's in her mid to late 20s. I don't know. Can work either way. I wasn't expecting this movie to be so dirty, if you know what I mean. Like, it was quite, the language was very vulgar. And, you know, everyone's just ridiculing the fuck out of each other. But anyway, he agrees to dance with Annette on the condition that they stay friends because there is a competition coming up and Tony is absolutely desperate to win it. We do this as friends and we practice. Tony doesn't have a good relationship with his family, especially his dad. You know, his dad slaps him on the back of the head if he talks back. And also, he's not interested in hearing about the race that he gets, he gets from his job, you know, the, in the paint store. You know, most, most dads are like that anyway. The dance club that he goes to and that, you know, that he practices in, he meets his dream girl and it's this girl called Stephanie. And it turns out that Tony is absolutely crap at talking to women. Like he is, he's such a misogynist, so he is. Do you want to know what I call you? I bet it begins with a C. No, nah, Tony's the, Tony's the C anyway. You can just tell by the way he gets on. I, I don't know if he, I, I could even root for him when I watch this movie. Just because oh, he's so cocky and full of himself, if you know what I mean. However, Stephanie decides to become his dance partner as long as the relationship stays professional. You know, they don't become boyfriend and girlfriend or anything. Tony's older brother, Frank, arrives home and he is a priest. So he's basically been on the missions and everything. And, you know, he's a priest who's done well for himself. But I guess it's all just thrown back in the parents' face because he has some news. I'm leaving the priest to Tony. This makes Tony feel better because he no longer feels like the... The disappointment of the family, you know, because obviously the parents are so distraught. They want Frank to go back to the the parish, but it's not going to happen. Tony and Stephanie go on dates, but I gotta say he is absolutely shit talking to her. And we learn that he that she is working for like a talent agency. You she's met yeah, people yeah. like Dave. Let me tell you something. Tony doesn't even know who Lawrence Olivier was. Like, he, like he, you know, he, he, according to. Stephanie, he was the greatest actor in the world. You know, I did watch him in Oliver. I thought he was absolutely brilliant. He was Bill Sykes, the bad guy, if you guys remember, from 1968. And they, you know, they kind of go for each other whenever, you know, they they reveal what they do for a living. And I gotta say, Stephanie is worse than Tony. Like, like I did say at the beginning of the video, he doesn't know what he wants, what he wants to do. He works at a paint store, dead end. He doesn't go to college or university and he gets called out about that. And that, that just does not seem like Stephanie's dream man. Tony has a dream girl, but Stephanie doesn't have a dream man. Meanwhile, one of Tony's friends, Gus, he gets attacked by a rival gang and he ends up getting put in hospital. And Tony's closest friend, the timid Bobby C, he gets his girlfriend pregnant. And the whole family wants him to marry her, but he does want to get the Pope's permission for an abortion. Yeah, I, I don't know how those laws work back in those days. Listen, Bobby, if you get married, well, I'll go on your on your honeymoon with you. It even gets to the point where Bobby is so desperate, he actually has to ask Frank if he would have to get the Pope's permission. You know, I'm actually surprised that Frank does go along to the nightclub with them. After an argument with his mother, Tony reveals to Annette that he already has a dance partner and she's obviously distraught by it. Jesus Christ. Force my fucking mother now, you. Stephanie even begins to lie to me, but whenever he asks to walk her home once again, she even admits, you know, you didn't have to ask. You should have just gone along with it. You know, she just wants him to trust his instinct and actually just be a gentleman to her. And, you know, just go home with her. Um, the night whenever they all go to the club once again, where Tony actually nails it with that song. You should be dancing, yeah. He's disappointed to see that Stephanie isn't there. Afterwards, they all go to this bridge where they usually fuck about. And, you know, I gotta say, that's a very, very dangerous thing to do. Very stupid too. But Tony likes going to the bridge because he thinks that if he crosses it, it'll lead to a much better life. So, well, 
and I don't even know why Annette's joining them at this point because they're absolutely horrible to her and you know they don't give anything to her. Find someone that values you and loves you for who you are. Whenever Frank actually leaves the family home and he actually encourages Tony to do something with his dance and that, that's what the question that I'm asking myself during this movie. Why isn't Tony doing something with his dance? You know what I mean? And it turns out that other people have actually persuaded him to do the same as well. Are you not going to do something with your dancing, Tony? <sighs> Look, pe people, I mean, people ask me that all the time. Yeah. I do get anxiety whenever I do. I did watch the bridge scene. You know, anyone could fall off that and die. Well, I don't know if the, the fall could kill you in the water if you jump from that height. I don't really think it's a good idea for Tony to introduce Stephanie to his group of friends right away because, I mean, they're just dickheads. And they get on, like... Like they're still in high school. <laughs> and God help Bobby, he even starts asking Stephanie for help, even though he doesn't even know her. <sighs> My God. They finally get their revenge on the rival gang, but I'd be pissed off if I found out from Gus that they might not even got the wrong gang. You know what I mean? Like he basically just, they, I don't know, they probably did get the wrong gang, but Gus, he got attacked so hard. Yeah, I'd be pissed off. They basically just beat up a gang for nothing. The night of the competition, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed the choreography in this scene. Tony and Stephanie dance until their heart's content. And they even share a kiss, and I, I really enjoyed the song that they dance to. More than a woman, more than a woman to me. Even though they won, he just hands the prize up to them. And Stephanie leaves in disgust after Tony just absolutely disrespects her. They just, the whole friendship group decide to go off with Annette to the bridge where Bobby begins to act recklessly, more reckless than they usually do. And you can tell that he's drunk, you know, he's upset that, you know, his girlfriend's pregnant, he's being forced to marry and Tony has never called him. How come you never called me? And then he falls into the river to his death. So it turns out that that can't kill you. Leaving his friends behind, Tony goes on to the subway and he just wants to escape the night's events. He turns up to Stephanie's house, apologises for the way he got on last night. And he reveals that he's wanting to move to Manhattan to start a new life. I do hope he gets out of the paint store job and he does something with his dancing. You know, well, we'll just have to wait and find out. But he just decides to make a suggestion to Stephanie that I wasn't really expecting. I'd, l I'd like to be friends with you. Yeah, okay, man. We can be friends. And then he falls into the river to his death, so it turns out that that can kill you. Leaving his friends behind, Tony goes on to the subway and he just wants to escape the night's events. He turns up to Stephanie's house, apologises for the way he got on last night. And he reveals that he's wanting to move to Manhattan to start a new life. I do hope he gets out of the paint store job and he does something with his dancing. You know, i got to say, it was a wee bit of a... Next ending, I have to say, you know, Tony knows what he kind of knows what he wants to do now. He's lost one of his best friends, and I'm actually gonna wonder, you know, what, like, did they ever get the abortion? That's what I want to know. But yeah, I, I really fucking enjoyed this movie, guys. You know, it was, it was a bit of an over the place plot, but I mean, I love the dancing, I love the music, and you know, I'm really enjoying 1977 so far. But there is some good news, guys. I've only got two more things to get for my gaming equipment. Um, it was really four essential things. Two of them arrived, two are on their way. I've had the order from Teamu. I do know Teamu takes a long time to deliver to me, but I mean, at least I can track it. It won't be very long before the gaming starts, guys. I'm getting really excited, but nervous at the same time. Don't forget, we've only got one, two, three, four more movies to react from 1977, and then the last thing we're doing in the year is the first gaming video. And that's why, that's why I want, the reason why I want to have the game on onto this channel is because it's, it just makes sense. The Ultimate Trinity, movies, TV shows, video games, and people from all over the world, like, who have those interests in the three things can just check it out right on this channel. But yeah, I, I think the moral of the Saturday Night Fever is if you have a talent, then use that as a career. Don't waste it. Like, you know, I think the same was with Rocky, and you know, Rocky didn't know what he wanted to do. He worked for a loan shark, but he had the talent. He became a boxer, and he got his wish in the end. I think with Tony, you know, he, he I think he could become, a like, a professional dancer, so I can. You know, like, I, I love acting. 
I know, and you know, this is something I want to pursue as a career, and you know, hence I'm doing an HND at the minute. But yeah, I guess that's the moral of the story. You have the talent, use that for your whole life. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. It's good to be able to upload again. Um, can't wait for the game to start very soon. Don't forget to leave a like, comment you would like to see next, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'd like to say thanks to my sister, Kitty, for editing this video. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it, little sis. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't know what it's going to be. I'll get working on it as soon as I can. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all to death. And by the way, we shall be dancing, yeah.